What is up, guys? Now, what if I told you there was a Ford Maverick that was fully electric, but at the same exact cost as the Ford Maverick already is? Uh, if you don't know, the Ford Maverick comes in right around 25K all the way up to about 35-ish. You know, I'm ballparking that. And it's a super efficient uh, yet productive and, you know, really popular like this thing is almost impossible to get right now uh because it's so affordable and functional it's a real life truck even though it's smaller it's people are using it for real truck things that said volvo is about to smoosh ford hardcore and here's why Okay, so two quick things before I get into this video. The first thing, if you haven't watched my latest video, I did a full day review of the Ford F-150 Lightning, um, the longest I've had with it, and I kind of had a lot of big thoughts while driving it. So if you didn't catch that video, uh, I'll try to link it in the <laughs> thingy up here or in the description. Check it out. I, th I, th I thought it was a good video, um, but nobody watched it, so whatever. whatever. <laughs> uh, the next is... Uh, yeah, you're probably sick of me mentioning this. We are giving away this Lectron 48 volt EV charger to one of you viewers, totally free. All you need to do is fill out the, uh, or not even fill out, just click a couple buttons in the description, uh, follow the entry here, and you could get this uh, shipped to your doorstep and have a badass level two charger uh, for free for any uh, any EV that uses a J17 standard plug, it, it'll work on. So anything from a Chevy Volt to a Ford F-150 Lightning, we got you covered. Uh, and then Lectron. Yeah, big shout out to Lectron because uh, they've enabled me to give this away. And, you know, I, I love that. So uh, hope hope you win. You know what? I lied. Three things. The last thing is, uh, hey, if you've liked my videos and maybe you aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, now we can get into the video. I promise. Okay, so I know I said Volvo, but technically this is Geely who owns Volvo. I've actually made a video about this before. This is the Radar RD6. Uh, this truck is really good looking. In fact, it looks, it's the size roughly of a Maverick, maybe a little bit bigger, yet it's fully electric and extremely affordable. Uh, yeah, that's right. So in China, unfortunately for now anyways, and I... I strongly, strongly have a gut feeling that we're going to see this in the U.S. sooner than later just because I know it would crush it. Um, we're going to see that there's just no way we won't, especially at this price point. So as I mentioned, the base of this truck starts at only 25,000 USD. Now that's a conversion from China and, you know, that probably won't directly translate once it gets to the U.S. I'd maybe even add 10k on top of that once it's here and it will be more but even at 35k for the base of this for a fully electric truck i mean let's look at some of the stats real quick i believe the base has i'm pulling this up so what's crazy is even this base one at 25 has a 63 kilowatt hour battery and it gets 240 plus miles of range that's pretty good for a truck. I mean, just considering like the F-150 Lightning base is only like 225 or 230 or whatever, like that's pretty insane because this battery is half the size of the Ford Lightning, which means it's got to be pretty efficient because although this truck is smaller, uh, it's not that small. It's still got to move a truck around. So 240 miles, pretty great. But get this at the top end, on the top end, this just gets... At the top end, this gets just under 400 miles uh, of range, and that is with a 100 kilowatt hour battery. That's impressive. That's really great. I, I got to give it up for this thing. It really caught my eye. I mean, obviously, I'm making a video about it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered because I think there's something here. So cargo bed size is smaller. It holds about uh, 1,200 liters. 
but does offer front storage similar to the Lightning and the Silverado with a smaller frunk that holds 70 liters or, or 2.5 cubic feet. And then and when you talk truck stuff, there's a lot we don't know, but there's a couple stats here. Of course, the article I'm referencing will be linked in the description if you have any questions. Um, but as far as towing, it can actually ho- tall, uh, bleh, it can actually uh, tow up to around 6,000 pounds. Which, yeah, obviously you're not going to be doing full-size truck activities with something this small, but 6,000 pounds is probably going to be way more than enough for most activities. Hell, I know people who, who tow with their Tesla Model Y and or Model X where they're, I think, maxed out at like 3,000 pounds, and they crushed towing like almost every average day uh, towable item they do totally fine with. So 6,000 pounds is going to be pretty great for this truck. And, of course, it will have all of the cool uh, – now there must have features that we see in things like the Lightning and, again, the Silver Auto. Uh, like the rear bed, I think it has a – yeah, 6 kilowatt, which is a lot uh, – discharge panel that features several discharge models including a static discharge and mobile power uh and it's actually supposed to have the same thing that the f-150 lightning has which is the vehicle to vehicle charging you know i can't see a downside to this truck yet other than uh that it's not in the u.s yet so we kind of already talked about the trims, but there are four of them. I'll go ahead and read them off real quick. The base, as I mentioned, started at 25K only, um, and it has that uh, 63 kilowatt. There is a second trim up from that, which bumps you uh, quite a bit up. Actually, these middle two have the same size battery. It's the 86 kilowatt, and they're priced very similarly, actually, uh, with just a couple features probably missing. Again, we don't have the full spec list or anything like that like that and it would be different once it gets to the u.s either way so that part doesn't matter it's just nice to see a nice gradual selection of options here and then again the it tops out price wise at only about thirty five thousand dollars for a top trim electric truck i mean just that's the story here right this is only in china which sucks i get that but even if that came here as a fifty thousand dollar option imagine a what is it? 400 mile electric truck, very similar to the size of a Rivian. So basically just imagine a Rivian that you could get for 40 or $50,000. I mean, is that not a deal breaker? Is that not epic? That'd be huge. It would be insane. Uh, obviously this is probably a couple years out. I think reservations, uh, are just kicking off over in China. So we probably won't see them for quite a bit, but Again, this is huge. It's it's pretty great. When it comes to downsides, there actually is one huge one and that it is rear wheel drive only. There's not a four wheel uh, off road capable uh, anything to this vehicle. Uh, so they're going to want to fix that if it's ever going to stand a chance here in the U.S. But I mean, even if it didn't, I think I'd still consider a vehicle like this. I mean, Geely does say in their marketing that it is targeted at younger buyers who are mostly doing city driving and occasionally head up north or to the beach. So, yeah, that guilty. I think that's me. So maybe that's why I'm so drawn to this, but I I could see myself. So all this to say, this is something we probably should keep our eyes on, especially if you've had any interest in an electric truck. Um, immediately you might counter me and say, but Larry, I don't think this even stands or holds a candle to, uh, something like a lightning or a silver auto or any of the full size electric truck competitors. And to that, I'd say, sure, maybe not. But at the same time, we also throw Rivian in the conversation with the lightning and the silver auto all the time. So why wouldn't we consider something like this, even though it's a bit smaller? And to that, I'd also say this thing can it still has a bed you could load up. So if you're doing any type of work, it could still do that. It also still can tow, as we said, about 6,000 pounds. That's decent. Like any business that's using this, like a small business that uses a truck, could probably use this no problem, I would guess. And if you couldn't, it'd be for a reason like you need more range rather than a size of the truck. Uh, sure, there's some outliers there, but if I had to guess, it'd be the, the range which hits you in any of the three trucks I mentioned before anything about the size would hit you. Hopefully that makes sense, but um, I really just don't think it'd be an issue, and it actually would be a pretty strong contender. 
uh, which brings me back to the beginning. That's why the Maverick is so popular, which is why the Maverick is so popular right now. And in fact, it's so popular. I'll leave you with this. Toyota is working on a uh, plug-in hybrid Maverick competitor. Uh, Nissan is now working on a Maverick competitor. I don't know if that one's going to be a plug-in hybrid or just a straight-up hybrid or just full-on gas, but all of the competitors are seeing what the Maverick's doing, seeing what even the Hyundai Santa Cruz, what's it called, Santa Cruz? Yeah, the the weird-looking truck that they have, which I'll say... Small, small deviation here from the actual story. I don't really like it that much, but maybe I need to drive it. That's for another time. But all this is just leading us back to, okay, the Maverick is working and everyone is copying them. And I think the Maverick's working and the Rivian R1T is working. Put them together and we're going to see copies and copies and copies. And this just is the first one. And it's not just the first one that I've seen that's about to come out, but the price point. We can't forget that. Again, really think about that. A fully electric truck for $25,000. Boom. Think of any electric vehicle under $30,000. Like the Bolt is maybe the only one. So that's big news to me. And hopefully, you know, when it gets to the U.S., it's not way more than that. But all this to say, and I'll leave us with this. There's cool things around the corner. It seems like things are settling down a little bit right now, but I'm telling you, this is just the calm before the storm. So please stay subscribed for more EV truck news and just EV news in general. And don't forget to sign up to win this Electron V-Box charger. I'm so ready for this contest to end, so I don't have to mention that every video. Um, but December 1st is the last day to get that in. So if you're watching this past then, I'm sorry. It is already given away. Uh, but that's it. Thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Whew, out of breath. Mamma mia. I think I was talking too much. Oh, you're still here? You? What was that? <laughs> what? Okay, all right, all right. You didn't mean that, right? <laughs> Bill? I haven't seen... It's like four years or something. Wow, Bill. Old Billy Beans, we called him. We called him Billy Beans. He was the best. He had one leg. Kind of hopped around like a pirate. Miss that guy. Yeah, tell him I said hi. <laughs>